Yeah! Welcome back to the Southern Stack. Well, that is too short to be serious. All right, I didn't prepare for what I was going to do for this thumbnail, but uh, we got our greasy bag of food, so we'll we'll go ahead and grab the food. So we've got two different types of French toast. We got two different uh, fish wraps. One's regular, one's spicy, and uh, yeah, we got the the. I'm so lost, right? But uh, we got the returning uh, mint Oreo shake that I hold dearly and nearly to my heart. So as I prepare, uh, I do apologize for stalling, right? Um, but yeah, I think we've pretty much got it. My lettuce is spilling everywhere, but yeah, I mean, that's what we're gonna do for our thumbnail, right? All right, so yeah, two different types of uh, French toast that I'm going to put to the side. The returning mint Oreo shake and some wraps. So let's go ahead and get on with the review, right? All right, so I don't know what one is what until I look, I guess. This is the spicy fish wrap. Um, not a lot of fish. To this wrap but we gonna work around it the best that we can there's the fish all right mm -hmm. it definitely tastes like cod um the jalapeno is pretty good the fish is not great i've noted in the past where the fish sandwich is just it's not one of the best fish sandwiches and fast food i just think it's just average at best um but the jalapeno really adds a nice boost of flavor a nice good boost of heat um i like it or like that it lingers there but overall i'd say the wrap mm, i'll give it like a seven fish isn't terrible um but it's it's not like this super amazing fish so here's the regular it looks like i guess either tartar sauce or mayo cheese pickle you know the good old fixing so let's try that yeah it definitely tastes like tartar some pickle um it's not overriding the fish flavor I thought that jalapeno kind of over, you know, overtook a lot of the flavor there. So I do think I like this slightly more. Of course, not high quality fish, but definitely pretty solid. I give it like a seven and a half. Um, I think it, it's good, better than the spicy, but both are just okay. Um, so moving on, I mean, they're, they're enjoyable, right? For the, the quality of fish, you get a nice little wrap. We got syrup. What are we going to use syrup for? French toast sticks. Light, airy, fluffy, buttery. I like these already. Dip them in some syrup. Very solid snack. Again, not going to break ground uh you know change the world but i think these are good right so i'm gonna get i'm gonna give them an eight i really do enjoy them better than the fish wraps for sure all right churro french toast the cinnamon sugar doesn't add as much as i really was hoping for but it is a slight improvement Dip it in some syrup. And for that, I'll give it eight and a half. It's it's good. It's steady. It's reliable. It's dependable. It's churro. Alright, so my favorite one of my favorite all-time milkshakes, the mint Oreo from Jack in the Box. Just so minty and so chunky. And so delicious.
Mm. Just a delightful shake. One of the one of the best mint Oreo things you can get out there. She's just absolutely loaded with flavor. If you love Oreo pieces and you love mint, go get it. 10 out of 10. Gotta say, this was a pretty successful uh, jack-in-the-box trip. Um, French toast kind of surprised me. I, th I thought it was really solid. The fish wraps were actually pretty good. I know the fish isn't like high quality, but... Um, it's definitely not like terrible fish. It's actually pretty good. Um, and then you've got the nice wrap cheese and condiments or, you know, pickle or jalapeno. So overall, I had a very pretty delightful trip to Jack in the Box. We'll be back in the future. Other than that, I'll see y'all around.